In this video, we're going to take a look at two-way tables with joint and marginal relative frequencies. In a previous video, or a different video, uh, I looked at creating two-way tables, and you can see a completed two-way table at the top up here. And this is uh, 2020 Major League Ballparks broken down by the type of roof that they have and by the type of field that they have to play on. Now, we're going to take that data and we're going to make joint relative frequencies and marginal relative frequencies. And so our process for that is going to be to get the joint relative frequency, we're going to take each joint frequency, so each joint frequency, and we're going to divide it by the total. Okay? Then to get the marginal relative frequencies, we're going to add up the rows and the columns on our table. Okay, so to get the marginal relative frequencies, we're going to add the rows and the columns. And I'm going to tell you a, a little, it shouldn't be a secret, but uh, something that you'll notice about that. Okay, so here we go. Let's dig in. So the first one, we're going to take 22 and divide that by the total 30 okay and all these things are gonna match up directly so we're gonna just work in this box right here and so it's gonna be 22 divided by 30 now that gets us 0 0.733 and here's something that you should be aware of. Pay close attention to what it asks you to round to. Usually it's the nearest thousandth or something like that, but just pay close attention because a lot of times you're gonna get ugly numbers. And so we're gonna probably end up doing some rounding. The next one is zero out of 30. So zero divided by 30 is just zero. Not terribly interesting there. Then the next one, we have 3 divided by 30. So 3 over 30. We divide that and we get 0 0.1. Then the next one, we've got 4 over 30. Like so. And that's going to give us 0 0.133. Then we go over here, we have another 0. So 0 over 30 equals 0. And then we've got 1 over 30. And that's going to be 0 0.033. OK. Now, so those are the joint relative frequencies. We get those by just taking each of our joint frequencies. Remember, those are the ones here. And we divide okay and there we are with decimals now to get our marginal relative frequencies we're going to simply add the rows and the columns going up and down and across and those will get us those marginal relative frequencies so for this one this is easy we've got 0 0.733 this one right here we add those together we get 0 0.2 Three, three. Next one, 0 0.033. Okay, and then we're going to go across. So on the top, we've got 0 0.833. And then we add those together and we get 0. Point, oops, let me undo that there. We got 0. Point one six seven now when we add the total column and when we add the total row 
both of those we should end up with an answer of 1. Now, something that will happen sometimes is that because of the rounding that we do, and depending on the place value that we round to, it might not add to 1, but it should be something pretty darn close. It might be 0 0.999, 0 0.998, something like that. And that happens because of the rounding that might take place. So just something to be aware of there. Now, you might say, well, why? What, what do we do with why? Who cares? So the reason that we care about this is this is going to allow us to do some comparisons uh, between situations. And we can also then look at each of these boxes and it tells us the percent of the total that is that particular thing. So for example, if we look in 2020, 73.3% of the ballparks are open air grass fields, okay? So almost three fourths of the ballparks are open air grass fields, okay? And then we go over here on the bottom, we could say, all right, 23.3% are retractable roofs out of the total in the league and so on. We can grab these numbers and those numbers all have meanings and they maybe mean more than just saying, oh, seven of them or four of them or whatever. Okay, so that's where this comes in kind of handy and kind of interesting. So I was thinking about this and thought, hey, uh, let's uh, take this a little bit further. So what I did is I came up with the joint and marginal relative frequencies for the ballparks in 2000 and in 1985 and just wanted to see how those things compared. So here we are and so this is a nice version of that table that I just created back there here's the 2000 here we have 1985 something I want you to notice or what do you notice well hmm interesting notice that the open air ballparks actually have gone down over time in 1985 it was 88.5% of the ballparks were open air by 2000 it was 76.7% and now it's 73.3% so there's more ballparks that are not open air are less open air ballparks well where is that change coming in look at this the retractable column that wasn't even a thing in 1985 the first uh, retractable roof stadium was the Sky Dome in Toronto and so in 1985 there were no retractable notice by 2000 we had 13.3 percent and now we're up to 23.3 percent of the ballparks have a retractable roof and then the fixed roof back in 85 there was 11.5 percent down to 10%, now down to 3%. That's just one ballpark left that has a fixed roof. So, kind of interesting stuff. Also notice the grass. Grass has changed, went from 61.5% in 1985, going up there, and now we're up to 83.3%. And that, uh, kind of interesting to see those trends and things like that and the joint relative and marginal relative frequencies allow us to notice those things and, and see how things change. I hope this uh, video was helpful some great fun information to look at I hope you enjoyed it and uh, keep working hard on your math you can do it